This video will show you how to build a global object in Factory Talk View Studio for Machine Edition. To build a global object, the first thing that you do is you go to your global objects and you create a display under global objects. I've created this one called Conveyors and I'll open it up. I'm going to go ahead and grab a graphic, let's do a conveyor. So under objects, you go to symbol factory and I'm going to drag and drop in this conveyor to the screen and then I can close the symbol factory. Now that I have my conveyor, let's add in everything we want for this conveyor. So I want a running indication and I want to show the name of the conveyor. So we're going to bring in a string to display. Next thing I need to do is group these objects. Go to the Arrange menu, choose Group. Now they're grouped. Next thing I need to do is set up my parameters. So I'm going to go to the Global Object Parameter Definitions. I'm going to put in Hashtag 1, and this is going to be a substitution for my Motor UDT. Click OK on that. So I'm going to double-click my group to get into the group. Select the conveyors itself. Then I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to go to an animation, choose Color. I'm going to assign this to the running tag inside of my User Defined Type. I'm just going to use a hashtag one for my variable, and then the running will be what's consistent throughout all of the motors. I'm going to apply and close. Now for the string. I want to use the name of the motor. So I'm going to use a trick here. I'm going to use an extended property, and the extended property is going to be the at sign in the name. So here's one of my conveyors for example. I can bring in timer there, and then what I would do is change this to dot. Add name and that would bring in the name for CV610. But I don't want CV610. I want it to be generic. So I'm going to use hashtag one. I can apply on that one and OK. Now to bring in a global object to another screen, all you do is right click on it and copy it. And then you paste it onto a non-global screen and then it puts it in there and I can paste another one. So now I have two conveyors. And then if I want to assign these conveyors to a specific thing, all I do is to go to global object parameter values and then it lets me choose attack. I'm going to choose CV610. I have to click on timers and then back it off. There we go. And for this one, global object parameter value, and then we want CV513 for this one. I'm just going to hit timers. Back that off there and then click OK. So now my two conveyors are set up. I should be able to hit play and they'll load as CV610 and CV513. Now let's suppose that I didn't like something here. Like this font doesn't show up very well. So I want it a little bit more bold. I go over to my global object. I get to properties of the font. Just make it bold and a little bigger. Okay. I like the way that worked out. Go ahead and save the global object file and close it. Notice my conveyors didn't update immediately but if I save changes here, and then I reopen the main, now they have the more bold font. Hit play. It's got the new conveyors with the new bold font. That's how you build a global object PanelView 7 in Factory Talk View Studio.